أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا بالقاسم محمد وصلى الله على محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين صلى الله عليك يا سيدي ومولاي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك يا سيدي ومولاي يا أبا عبد الله غريب مظلوم مقتول بكربلاء مكتأ الأضاء مرمل بدماء مسبوغ من القفاء عتشان بجانب الفراد مدفون بلا كفاغان فزمن يتصمى بحبلكم وأمن من لجاء إلى حسنكم فيا ليتنا كنا معكم سادتي فنفوز فوزا عظيما عن الإمام الباقر عليه السلام لأمار بن سعيد الثقفي إن أصبت بمصيبة في نفسك أو في مالك أو في ولدك فاذكر مصابك برسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فإن الخلائق لم يصاب بمثله قات صنوات ما صلى على محمد Imam Baqir alaihi salam said to a companion by the name of Umar bin Sa'id al-Thaqafi that is if a calamity befalls you whether be it on yourself or in your wealth or in your children then remember with this calamity of yours the calamity of Rasulullah because Imam, Sa- Imam Baqir alayhi salam said فَإِنَّ الْخَلَائِقْ لَمْ يُصَابُ بِمِثْلِهِ قَدْ nobody no one from the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would feel the calamity like the calamity of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Why not? It is like when Rasulullah was living this world and he was very sick, he was losing his consciousness and Ahlul Bayt they were around surrounding the body of Rasulullah when Rasulullah opened because he opened his eyes because he could feel tears dropping onto his cheek and when he opened his eyes he saw the faces of Ali Fatima Hassan and Hussein and then Rasulullah asked them why are you crying my Yubaki come what did you cry? They said, because of the sadness of your parting, O Rasulullah, O Father. Then Rasulullah said, do not be sad and do not cry because your calamities will be greater. That is after me. After me. 
the calamities that would befall Fatima, how she would be killed, how she would be slapped, and how Ali would be killed, and how Hassan would be poisoned, and how Allah Hussein would be killed on the plain of Karbala. Brothers and sisters, nobody like Rasulullah said, Ma, Uziya ahadun kama uzitu. Nobody had been heard like I have been heard, said Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Insha'Allah, that with all these reminders, may the calamity that we face, may the calamities that we face in this life, and especially to Brother Sajjad, to Brother Sadiq, and to their sister, inshallah, the calamity of losing their father, Brother Iman and Mansur, will be lightened, inshallah. Losing a father is something very big. And the only way to pacify is to remind ourselves of the calamities of Rasulullah and the calamities of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. Brothers and sisters, I will take only a short time, uh, some time from your busy uh, schedule. You know, it's already 9.30. Something very important, inshallah, will be lesson for all of us, especially for me. That is about words, about our words. Our words, our speeches. That is the best and the worst. Our words can be good, our words can be bad. Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib, when he was asked, Ayu shay'in mima khalaqallahu ahsan. What thing that Allah had created from all, from all his creations is the best. فَقَالَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامَ الْكَلَامِ Words. The word, your speech. فَقِيل And it is said to him, أَيُّ شَيْءٍ مِمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ أَقْبَحُ what had been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the worst, the ugliest. Faqal al-kalam, words. Both question, best and worst. Both same answer, words. Thumma qala bil-kalam, ibiyaddatul wuju, ibiyaddatul wuju. That is, with words, Faces become whitened. Wabil kalam is what that would you, and with words, faces become blackened. That is, you know, with words, people, people become happy, with words, people become saddened, with words, people, uh, uh, people rejoice, with words, people become uh, unhappy you know same thing but can have different effects these are what imam amirul mu'minin had said there is some words are nice and good with which minds are guided you know good words minds are guided hearts are softened thoughts are sweetened you know, we have better thoughts because good words. And on the other, and, and, and maybe with our words, the oppressor aided, supported. You know, with our good words, we write something, we say something somewhere in front of the audience, or we write somewhere. You know, the oppressed people are assisted supported motivated the same thing you know words can cause heartache can make hearts shaken 
can cause deviation, uh, can give support to oppressors, reef a sort disagreement started. So many things can happen, bad things from the same thing, words, what we say. People become enemy, people become friends because of words. People become lovers because of words. People fight because of words. Amirul Mu'minin had explained all this. And insha'Allah ta'ala being people who claim themselves to be followers, lovers of Ahlul Bayt, especially Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib, then we have to strive, we have to try hard to follow this guidance of Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib. Salawat. Because whatever that comes out from our mouth, it will be recorded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Al-Quran Al-Karim, that is some people will be saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what's his mahad al-kitab, what's his book? Nothing leaves, everything is in it. Everything we do, everything we say will be recorded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nothing leaves. Ma'ad al-kitab, what is this? What is this book? Nothing is amiss. Everything is there except for those that Allah had forgiven. Besides that, everything is there. The haq, the rights of others, they remain in those books. This is the worst thing that can happen to us. We oppress some people, someone, in many ways, in some ways, money or words or even sometimes with our face. La tusa'ir. Khaddaq, that is, don't, don't turn your face like that because you do dislike somebody. Some people don't only turn their face, they turn their back to show dislike for somebody. This is not right. This is not what taught by Islam and not from the school of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Why? Because not only words, sometimes, you know, we don't just express our uh, uh, animosity with words but sometimes we do it even with our body language body language that's what we do sometimes in writing sometimes with words but sometimes also with our actions if only with, with words it's already very bad what more with actions but sometimes actions actions had lesser consequence compared to our words. Words can have bigger effects, whether good or bad, on others, which sometimes actions do not have. For an example, you know, for an example today, you know, weapon of mass destruction they can destroy people for an example you bomb you send a nuclear bomb people die maybe one city you get rid of one city or one country one nation and so on but sometimes with a pose a statement nations all over the world can be destroyed you know, what happened during COVID, COVID virus, virus, that virus killed people and so on and so forth. But sometimes people are not killed physically. People are killed with 
through their souls, through their spirits. They are living, but they are dead. Living dead. And we have many, actually we have many among us who are living dead. And that's worse than the physical death. And that can happen to us. Through what? Words. Instigations. And today, that's the biggest war. That's the biggest war. The media. And that's what we are lacking. Most Muslim nations, Muslim countries lacking in this. And for that, we are defeated. We are losing our young because of this. Brothers and sisters, I don't have much time. I don't want to take too much of your time. Inshallah, we will delve into these more. But we have to stand up. You know, words are, words are the true uh, description of our, our self, our essence. Our that. What comes out from our mouth, as Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib said, it is the true picture of what we are from within. What comes from our mouth? It is actually a process that has got to do with our heart, how we feel. And then it goes to our mind how we think and then it comes out through you know after the process of thinking whether we are sad whether we are happy we, whether we are unhappy whether we are feeling what all the emotions that we have it comes out triggered through our mouth as Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib said, that is, Surah Rajul fi Mantiqihi. The face of a person is in his words. That is, Kalim wa Tu'araf. Amirul Mu'minin said, You speak, you will be known. If you don't speak, people don't know who you are, what you are what your mind is all about if you are quiet you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad amir uh, uh, imam imam sajjad alayhi salam was asked lima suila it is lama suila anil kalam was sukut when imam sajjad was asked regarding speech and silence imam said when he was asked, Ayyuhuma afdal, which of these two is better? Imam said, Likuli wahidin min huma afad. Both of these have got its own plague and sickness. Quiet, when you are silent, there is problem. When you speak, there is also problem. Fa'idha salima min al afad, if any one of it, if they are free from sickness, it is said, Fal kalam afdal, speech is better than silence. Without any sickness, if silence without sickness, if speech without sickness, sickness any kind of plaque, then speaking is better. Why? When he was asked why, he said, Messengers and prophets, they were not sent and delegated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with silence. They speak. They were not silent. They speak. And then, again he said, إِنَّمَا يَبْعَثُهُمْ بِالْكَلَامِ they were sent with words. Wala stuhikatil janna bisukut. You know, you don't enter Jannah with silence. <laughs> and he said again, Wala stujibat wilayatullah bisukut. The wilayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not attained 
with silence. Ahlul Bayt alaihim salam, Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Nabi Talib, Imam Hussein until today, the greatness of Imam Hussein and that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not through silence, but with words. What? Nahyuanil Munkar. Amru bil ma'ru wa nahyu anil munkar Not silence So these are the advantage So brothers the same thing I have to cut short Time is short And uh, among the most important thing That happened during this period During the month of Safar Month of uh, Muharram and Safar Among others is To speak against oppression and that was among what taught to us by Sayyida Zainab al Kubra. It is said that when she was in the court of Ibn Ziyad, you know how she stood in front of the so called kings, the so called caliphs. And uh, in this sad atmosphere, it reminds us of how when she was very sad, she was facing all the calamities, how she stood. She ra raised herself. She rose and her words, her words, like the words of Amirul Mu'minin, her utterances, like the expressions of Amirul Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib, it is said that Hudayma al Hasadi in Kufa reported by Allah, I have never seen a voice more eloquent than her voice. Sayyidah Zainab. As if she were uttering and emptying from the tongue of Ali. Sayyidah Zainab. And she indicated to the people to be silent. She said, be silent you know people were were all cheering jeering and so on and then she made them silent they were jeering they were teasing ahlul bayt and so on when suddenly she made them total silent and then she said ama ba'du ya ahlul kufa ya ahlul khatal wal ghadar والخذل على فلا رقات العبرة ولا حدات الزفرة and so on so forth he said oh people of Kufa people of deceit and treachery and betrayal and so on so forth no fear at all just like Amir al-Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib he said you know you people men women all you people are like women women who undoes a yarn after there has been become strong you know you have made something the rope becomes so strong and then you undone it you undo it again you take your all that deception between yourself that is in al quran al karim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about people who made agreements against them and that agreement that they have against themselves covenant against among themselves promises and so on and so forth as a mean to escape from some obligations sometimes we do that we tell lies and so on and so forth because we have some promises with other people and so on to escape from that promise we we lie that happened that is done in human life so many things people do especially people who are in businesses transactions and so on and so forth people do that you know in the gathering of Ibn Ziyad she said when Ibn Ziyad Ibn Ziyad started to speak against Ahlul Bayt alaykum salam he said alhamdulillah alladhi fadahakum wa qatalakum wa aghdaba ahdathatakum 
that is all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who exposed you exposed Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam killed you and refuted you how did she answer did she keep quiet you know sometimes our problem is when we have to speak we keep quiet when we have to keep quiet we speak Imam Sajjad had already explained speaking is better when there is no sickness no bad in it speaking is better silence is lesser in goodness Sayyidah Zainab rose and spoke she said alhamdulillahilladhi akramana bi nabiyyihi muhammad wa tahharana min ar-rijsil tathhira all praise to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who bless us with prophethood in the form of muhammad and who had purified us with total purity Sayyidah Zainab said, Wa inna ma yaftadihu al-fasik wa yagdhibu al-fajir wa huwa ghayruna. That is, and only the sinner is exposed. We are not exposed. Sinners are exposed. And the ungodly, they tell lies. We don't tell lies. And he said, he is other than, she said, he is other than us. Those bad people, those liars, those who have been exposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those are not us, but you. You know, people were there, all gathered, seeing. And she just said, you know, of course, the, the situation, the environment was very saddening for them. Why? The heads of Imam Hussein and the other shuhada were all there. Ladies without hijab. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it is said that when all those things were happening, when all those were happening, there was a daughter of Imam Hussein by the name of Fatima. She was there. Of course, the daughters of Rasulullah, the daughters of Fatima to Zahra, they were beautiful. And their beauty were open to all the general people to look at. Imagine they were driven from one place to another, one place to another in many places. People were looking at them. In fact, when they were entering Kufa, when they were entering Damascus, Imam Sajjad, Sayyidah Zainab had to request people to do things so that they would not, they would not be seen. For an example, they would request, Imam Sajjad was requesting from a companion, take the head of Al Hussein away from the ladies and bring it, raise it as high as possible so that the people would not be looking at the daughters of Rasulullah. Brothers and sisters, there was this daughter of Imam Hussein who was in, in the palace with Sayyidah Zainab, with all other ladies, and she was sitting at one corner and she was covering her head with her tie. <laughs> because she had no hijab. It is said that a Syrian man, a Syrian man was there. He said to, he said to Yazid, he said to Yazid, give me that girl. I want that girl. <laughs> and Fatima, the daughter of Imam Hussein, started trembling. <laughs> She came to Sayyidah Zainab, threw herself on the feet of Sayyidah Zainab, said, Oh aunt, after being made an orphan, now am I supposed to be a slave given, given to others as slave? She was trembling. 
It is that she said, beyond having, beyond becoming an orphan, now I am becoming, uh, I am becoming a slave. <laughs> is that permissible, O oh aunt? She said. <laughs> Sayyidah Zainab had to pacify her and tell her not to fear. <laughs> Sayyidah Zainab said to the, to the Syrian man, you have lied and you have become wicked. And she is not for you, nor for him, pointing towards Yazid. <laughs> Except if you people have left the religion of my grandfather, Rasulullah. Except if you are not Muslims anymore. Yazid said, we have not left the religion, but you people have left the religion. Imagine all this being said to the family of Ahlul Bayt alayhimu salam. <laughs> it is said that the girl was trembling. Again, when, when, when Yazid and, and Sayyidah Zainab were exchanging their words, these men keep on pastoring saying, I want that girl, please, oh Amir, give me that girl. Then, you know, because Sayyidah Zainab was answering him and so on, trying to stop them from doing that. Then the Syrian man asked, Who are they? Who are these people? Yazid said, These are, these are, this is the daughter of Al Hussein. Hussein the son of Fatima, the son of Ali, the daughter of Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah. She, he said, Hussein, son of Ali, the grandson of Rasulullah Muhammad, and you kill him, and then you take his daughters, his children as prisoners. I thought they were prisoners from among the Romans. The man did not know that they were from among Ahlul Bayt, the children of Rasulullah. He said, I repent and I re I'm remorseful. I will be them and I will defend them. It is said that on that very spot, Yazid ordered for the man to be killed and he was struck and his, his, his neck just fell. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to honor somebody with expression from the word, with their words of affection and love for Ahlul Bayt alayhi musalam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor them inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon sayyalamu alladhina dhalamu ayya munkalabin yankalibun نسألك الله وندعوك باسمك الذي ملا أعظم ملا أزل جل الله كرم يا الله يا الله يا الله يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا مقلب القلوب الأبصار ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم بحق فاطمة وأبيها وبعليها وبنيها وسر المستودع فيها أن تصل على محمد وآل محمد وأنت بعل بنا ما أنت أهله ولا تبعل بنا ما نحن أهله اللهم أنت الغفور فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا يا الله forgive us all our sins ya Allah forgive us our short our 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 mistakes ya Allah our shortcomings ya Allah Allahumma Allahumma arham amwatana ya Allah have mercy on those who have passed away from among us our family members, our parents, among Muslims, among mu'min, Ya Allah, our brothers and sisters who used to be with us in gatherings like these, especially our brother Haji Iman and Mansur, who just 
passed away and was buried early this morning. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, deliver the reward of this gathering to his grave and the graves of all marhumins. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, ease them in whatever situation, difficulties that they are facing. Bring the light of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam to their grave, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, ease them in whatever situation they are facing and widen their grave, Ya Allah. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana fil akhirati hasana tawakina adhaban naru. Hussain, Hussain, Hussain.